by doing A, B, or C, you could end up with consequences. And by staying the course, there still is a good scenario there. That's why we do the modeling to say, the public want to say, what does that mean for us? Why should we stay the course? Why should we keep it this? I can't, we can't be any clearer on that, uh, in that. Last question. Last question comes from Jessica Smith from Queens Park Briefing. Jessica, please go ahead. Uh, hi, thanks. I'd just like to follow up on um, John McGrath's excellent uh, question. So, Dr. Williams, are you recommending that the province do anything else to ensure the ovarian R goes down to 0. 0.7, or are we really just letting this happen? Um, right now, our, our effective is around 8 .1, 0 0.81, sorry. A uh, number of the healthy ones, the ones that have opened are down about 0 0.5, 6, 0 0.4 um, in there. And uh, we are anticipating with our numbers right now, we may be dropping below 0 0.8. Um, so we're going in the right direction. But I'd like it already down at 0 0.7? I sure would. Um, I think we can get there uh, in this. And that's the whole point, once we get the numbers down and keep our testing uh, with our screen different methods are doing and stay down, even the percent of variance making up those small numbers accrues as we hear it might, that is workable. It's when it starts to then start to double up and the RE goes from 0.7 to 0.9, as you saw in the graphs, then we have a problem. So what we're seeing at this time as we enter the framework with the tenuousness of it, we're going to watch that, but we could ramp that big up right back up again if the numbers show it's increasing. So it's uh, one being monitored very carefully. We know there's a lot of pressure. People are wanting to, um, are suffering economically and personally because of the situation. So it's a fine balance between, let's like say it's the comparison about in, in medical model, if you do the population, it's like someone's had a major event and you put them on bed rest. That's safe, but after a while, if you leave them too long in the bed, other things can happen. But if you don't jump out of the bed, you could, re you could ask for another reoccurrence of the event. So you have to be very careful what you mean by starting to mobilize a bit and move a bit with all the precautions in place. So we're not opening up, we're allowing some things to be available, but we want even more personal adherence to the stay at home, to the masking, to limiting your household contact, all that has to be really carefully done in the next number of weeks if we're going to get that R not R E down to close to 0.7. Follow up, and this is the last question. Hey, this is Dr. Brown. Um, is the reopening of schools expected to have an impact on, on the R, and does the province need to do anything to compensate for any increase? Sure, so I, I think the important thing to keep in mind here, it's, it's a really important question, Schools tend to amplify what's in the community. So if you've got broad community spread, you'll see that the schools will amplify that. Okay, just listening um, in, provincial health officials providing the latest modeling update, saying that the B117 variant, that's the UK variant, is spreading, uh, likely to continue to grow when it comes to the number of cases we're seeing in the province by late February, and they will see an increase in ICU. Also saying that aggressive vaccination and sticking with the stay-at-home order will help avoid a third lockdown. We're also learning we should uh, have a better sense of where the 28 health units in the province will be uh, landing when it comes to further restrictions as of tomorrow an announcement is set to come on that tomorrow so of course we'll follow for that uh, follow that for you I should say this is Toronto's breaking news CP24 and of course we're following this breaking news the new modeling projections more just ahead stay they say that for every door that closes another one is opening just out of sight the key to finding it is to move forward at Troyes College we're dedicated to guiding you through and they point to a surge in cases of the new COVID-19 variant. And the SIU says the father and son killed in an incident in Kawartha Lakes last November was a result of police gunfire. It is 4.01 and minus 5 from 2.19.